Uh, my friend is filming for me, so that's why the camera's kind of weird. <laughs> um, so I got some requests to do a halter tutorial, and I thought I would do that for you. So let me grab a horse, and I'll show you the halter that we're going to make, and then you can choose whether to watch or not to watch. Making today, it has a buckle on the side for loosening and tightening the halter. Um, it does have a lead rope. I will show you that at the very end. It is underneath as well and yes it is a realistic look I have the wood grain I think is what you call the ribbon so it is this is the brand I'm using so yes okay so basically what you're going to need is your horse scissors you can use hot glue but I use this uh, Fabri-Tac glue pliers you're going to need some kind of malleable bendable wire to make a buckle like this that is a bad one but we'll make a buckle you're going to need your ribbon three large jump rings a small jump ring two square jump rings and for the lead rope you will need I have this rope fabric material a clasp and a jump ring okay. so what we're going to do first is we are going to make the side buckle on their show side more than likely it's on their show side and you're going to use your square jump ring and thread your ribbon through it and fold it over and where you fold it over is where you are going to put your glue at so you're going to glue it come out then I'm pinching it so it stays yep so that's one side and or that's one part so next you're going to need to measure the buckle from about where its muzzle the lip is so you're gonna take the buckle and put it on the edge of the lip Measure it up to right behind the ear, over here, and you're going to snip it, cut it, sorry, and this is where a round jump ring comes in. You're going to thread the other side through it, fold it over, do not glue it yet, because you're going to remeasure it and see if it's right where you want it to be. So about where I want mine to be, maybe a little bit shorter. I'm sorry if the lighting is really weird, there's a flashlight, because my lighting in my room sucks, and it's at night, so, oh well. I'm going to measure it and make sure it's good enough for you. Then you're going to glue it. That's really gross. <laughs> that sound. So, once we glued this side, that's all we need to worry about for this side. The next side is where... We're just kidding. This is the side where we have... Yeah, another piece of ribbon gets thread through the circle, your round jump ring. And you will glue it. You do not need to measure it yet, just glue it. I'm sorry, Nakoda. I am so sorry. The camera keeps running out of time, so I have to clear memory and then redo it. So if it stops a lot, I'm sorry. So once you have this side done and then part of it is glued back to the rest of the ribbon through the jump ring, you are going to measure it along their face from where it starts over their head to the other side around to where their eye or the bottom of their cheek is and then cut it and this is going to be the ribbon that attaches through the buckle to create the whole staying on the face thing okay so I snip the very end 
into an arrow so it's just easier. You don't have to, but that's what I do. I'll snip it later. So you have half the face done. So the next half the face, you're just going to start the same way you did the last one. You're going to put it through, glue it, measure it, hang on glue is still drying, measure it along his face and cut it above his cheek probably you know like not too too high because then we have to glue the buckle on cut it thread it through the jump ring measure it glue it and next part is going to be harder so I have my little buckle and you are going to take a small piece of ribbon and yet again thread it through the jump ring glue it down but make sure like not a lot is glued down on the other side so like not a lot of excess ribbon is on the glues okay so I cut the ribbon so it's shorter and you're going to take the buckle and thread it through one side of the buckle fold it over so it's very very small piece of ribbon in between and yet again measure it because I'm a measuring person measure it so this one's a bit big so I'm going to tighten the ribbon so it's smaller and that should work then I'm going to snip a little piece off and glue it Okay, so once you have your two sides done, then you're going to take the actual long strip that you have and act as if it would go over the horse's head, so you would thread it through the buckle and so it's like that. And just put it over their he over his head or their head, depending on the gender, um, and pull it tight. Looks kind of like a bridle right now, but it's not. And once it's tight enough, like it doesn't have to be perfect. You are going to take another piece of ribbon and glue it onto the box side, onto one side of the box, so it's like this. So you're going to glue it like that. This creates the front nose band of the halter because we have the over the head buckle. Once we have that done, we are going to measure yet again cross his nose from one side of the buckle to the other side where the second buckle is. 